Five. Welcome to Cryptocurrency Blockchain News, your daily cryptocurrency and blockchain aggregated news show on YouTube. Look, look, there is going to be drinking. Look, look, there is going to be smoking. Look, look, there is going to be swearing. So you have been warned. Don't cry about it to me in my comments. So look, look. Here I come in three. Look, look, two. Look, look, one. Bye. I almost forgot how I usually end that. Bye. Welcome, everyone. Black, white, gay, straight, Christian, Muslim, Jew. Look, look. My name is Shamar Clark. Welcome to Cryptocurrency Blockchain News. Your daily cryptocurrency and blockchain aggregate news show on YouTube. The greatest show on earth. And I got to admit, the greatest show in the multiverse. <laughs> Bye. And I'm here for you guys. Corona free. Locked, cocked, and ready to rock. All right, let's get her done. Look, look, brothers. <laughs> All right, guys. Man, I bet you we have some sales today. I haven't even refreshed yet. So let, let, let's get what we we're going to talk about. So, backed gets $300. Oh, yeah, from Microsoft and Sintera and all this shit. All this shit. We're going to talk about backed. Gets a new injection, and they're going to launch that. Uh, what is that shit they're launching? Uh, they're going to launch that. Um, um, <clears throat> anyway, man, they're going to launch something, an app. All right. Oh, and this piece of shit right here. Vladimir. Fucking comrade Vladimir in Russia. It looks like the Russians don't take kindly to crypto, boys. Me. But we're going to explain. Remember I told you, there's cryptocurrency wanting to be money. And then there's digital, sorry, distributed ledger technology providers, services providers, two different things. So we're going to talk about that. But it looks like the fucking Russians, they're not going to love the fucking crypto. It's going to be banned. Fuck all the crypto. So look, Russia's going to ban crypto. Yeesh, and this comes right from the central bank. So it's some real deal. But while one country taketh, another giveth, Zimbabwe. Bang! Can legalize crypto. So look, look, look. One giveth, one taketh. Let's check it out. Let's get on to our stories with a little bit of... Bang! Yes. All right, let's see what these markets are fucking looking like. Ay, ay, ay. What's happening here? Oh, there we go. Yeesh. I thought my, thought my laptop got some coronavirus there. <laughs> nah, all right, enough. Enough with those jokes. All right. Look, look. Bitcoin is at $5,310. Seriously, though, I coronavirus. That's all you fucking hear about. I'm glad I don't really watch American news too much. I watch international news, so we actually hear other shit. But anyway, look, fuck. Let's just move on. And when I talked to you on Saturday, we're at $5,330. So we're down $20. All right. Um, oh, man, I hope you guys got those. Oh, look at this green. I hope you boys got on those sales. All right, let's just do our normal thing. Shit, I haven't even. All right, look. Top 10 day, brothers. Usual suspects. Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, Tether, Bitcoin Cash, Litecoin, Bitcoin SV, EOS, Binance Coin, and Tezos. So let's look at total market moves of the day, brothers. <laughs> it's looked like some. Single digits to double digits up. Man, I hope you guys get your stuff, get your stuff, get your stuff. Right? Like, if you would got your stuff on the weekend, you're up 8% on your Ethereum, 7% on your XRP, 10% on your Litecoin, 9% on your EOS. All right, let's see what we got. Anyways, though, single digits to double digits up. Oh, fucking... Yeah, if you got Chainlink this weekend, bang, you're up 17% today, today. So I told you, get that shit this weekend. Stellar. Actually, I haven't looked at this. Yeesh, this is nice. Uh, single digits to double digits up. Single digits to double digits up. Let me get my beverages in order. Look, let's get everything in order. Single digits to double digits up. Yeah, so you guys take a look at that while I get myself situated here. Uh, single digits to double digits up. Single digits to double digits up. Uh, single digits to double digits up. Oh, you look at that V chain dag on it. Mm. 
Single digits to double digits up. Single digits to double digits up. Two. Single digits to double digits up. All right. Well, one of your brothers asked me, how long do I think these prices are going to stay down here or down there? I mean, we're still way down here because remember how much it went down, but crypto is different. Crypto is a different beast. It's a different beast than the regular markets. And uh, I mean, I told homeboy, I think till May, but obviously, apparently I was wrong. And that's why I hate when you guys ask me those things. Like, I don't I don't know what's going to happen in the future. I just know what's happening now and how to take advantage of things that I see happening, you know, in the moment. I'm a trader. You know, I'm a Forex trader. So I see what's happening now and kill it. You know, if you ask me, you know, Shamori, what's going to happen, you know, fucking four months from now? How the fuck should I know? You know what I mean? I don't know. Yeah, so... Anyway, whatever. Okay, so that's that. Let's see who lost money, if anything. And if you see anything on here. Holy, they're doing some major construction. Do you hear that? Holy, they're drilling something. Holy, sounds like they're breaking up some concrete. <laughs> they're getting serious out there. I can hear some truck. Beep, 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 beep. The neighbors are doing renovations. All right, so, but, um, uh Market moves, uh, sorry, uh, top 10 lose of the day. You see anything on here you like, go get it because it is on sale. Yeesh. Oh, yeah, not many sales. So the market's coming back. So buy, buy, buy. If you didn't buy this weekend, you better buy, buy, buy. Buy, buy, buy. Um, so uh, top 10 losers of the day. Uh, top 10, Binance USD, Paxo Standard, True USD, Tether, USD coin, multi-collateral, status euro, Terra, FTX token, and monocoin. Let's see who made money today. Bang! Oh, wait, look at these shits right here. Now, that's some serious fucking gains. Look, look! Shit, I should have grabbed some IOTA. I didn't get any this weekend. Shit. But all you link holders, I know a bunch of you got chain link. There you are. You're up 17% from what? Whenever you bought it between Friday and now? Look! Top 10 of the day, brothers. Dragon Coins, Wax, Synthetics Networks, Blockstack, Kyra Network, Qcoin Shares, Matic Network, ABBC Coin, IOTA, and Chainlink. All right, let's look at total market cap. Let's take a look at market cap. Really? That's it? What? All right. Wait a minute. All right, all right. All right, so look. Total market cap is 151 point nine billion dollars 151.9 billion dollars and when i left you on saturday it was only well it was 152.7 so actually we are still down what is that 0.8 billion dollars 800 million dollars oh, i'm surprised about that with all that green well that shows how deep that shows how deep how deep we went down during the weekend <laughs> and we're just sort of recovering all right uh 24 hour volume 136.5 billion dollars 136.5 billion dollars in in uh not market cap 24 hour volume oh actually we're still down again oh so that means all right well whatever um so we went we are down what is that 27 billion dollars down 27 billion dollars all right all right yes all right well that's how it is and that's how life rolls all right so look look let's move on <clears throat> let's get some stories bong backed bitcoin platform backed gets 300 million dollar boost from microsoft pantera to launch a consumer app targeting a trillion dollar industry I hate when they say it like that, targeting a trillion dollar industry. Okay, it's a trillion dollar industry. Now, how much market share is the company going to get out of that trillion? It's already a trillion because there's already companies there making that money to make it a trillion. Now, how's Bact going to squeeze in or any company, whatever they say that about 
yeah, the size of the industry is blah, blah. Yeah, but it, how much is that company going to get out of it? Yeah, oh, come on. Now, I'm not dissing this story, but I'm just saying I hate. It's just uh, when they do those comparisons about whenever they tell you about the size of an uh, the size of an industry. Um, all right, so what? It's three hundred, uh, or it's a trillion dollar industry. Fine, but how much is backed going to get out of it, right? Or any like they always do that. Like Ripple lovers always do that, right? Yeah, Shamar and Ripple. We know we don't have the banking thing anymore, but now we're doing remittance. Remittance is blah, 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 billion dollars a year, $100 billion a year. Yeah, well, yeah, there's already guys doing it, aren't there? So how are you going to muscle them out of the way to get into it? You know, like, that's what you have to look at. Yeah, the industry is that big. Doesn't mean, what, you're saying, what, you think you're going to get the whole thing? <laughs> no, there's already guys there who built that industry that way. The trusted names, and now you're breaking in. I mean, obviously, Bact is different. It's run by ICE. Bact is run by a company named ICE. Can you hear this shit? I hope this isn't... I hope this isn't drowning out, because it's loud in my earphones. Fuck, these guys are going ham. I'm going to go out there and look at what they're doing. Yeah, Bact, though, is run by ICE which runs the uh, New York Stock Exchange, so it's a little different. But all right, let's just move on. Don't worry about all that. Despite the market downturn that has watched Bitcoin slide 50% from its 2020 high of over 10,000, BACT has just announced a Series B funding round. The Bitcoin futures platform has raised $300 million from several participants, including its parent company, Intercontinental Exchange. That's ICE, that company ICE I just talked to you about. Microsoft's M12, PayU, Boston Consulting Group, Goldfinch Partners, CMT Digital, and Pantera Capital. Bye! Uh, Pantera. In 2019... Bact rolled out an end-to-end -end regulated market for Bitcoin, along with an institutional custody offering after the launch of its physically backed Bitcoin futures. Bact is now focusing on consumer products and services to push digital assets into the mainstream. So here's their app. This is a picture of what their app looks like. So, well, let's read the story and then I'll, we'll come back here and we'll look at the app and the app will make sense to you there. So users will be able to convert a wide variety of digital assets into cash. It's not just crypto. So this isn't just a crypto thing. It's a wide variety of digital assets uh, that can be turned into cash to make rewards points, uh, in-game assets, merchant stored value, and cryptocurrencies more acceptable, accessible and easy to spend. Uh, according to BACT, these assets represent $1 trillion in consumer spending power. And its new app will allow users to combine their rewards, miles, loyalty points, Bitcoin, and crypto into a single digital wallet. And so this thing right here, can we open the picture? Oh, okay. Look at this. Hold on. Let me make sure you guys can see this. All right. You can. All right. All right. All right. So can I blow this up? Anyway, that's... Anyway. So this person has $5,000 in their thing. And their portfolio is... So they're in-game. So I guess... I guess... Uh, you know, if you play like Call of Duty or something, you get some sort of in-coin money. You get some in-game money. This is the person's crypto. This is their cash. And these are their rewards. Now, rewards can be anything like air miles. So, you see down here, air miles. That's how many miles they have. And then here they have points. You know, just some sort of points from some, I don't know, Amazon points or Walmart points. I don't know what. Uh, like that. And it shows them their balance. $1,492 in between miles and points. And then they this is their straight cash, homie. And then they also have crypto and stuff. And so, hold on, let me, let me show you something. Oh, and then here it is. It shows your total portfolio. So the total portfolio is 5.9 thousand. They have three point, they have 3,000 in crypto. 
one point four nine thousand in rewards in game. So like like I said, their uh, Call of Duty uh, game or whatever, three hundred eighty three dollars of that, and then they've got six hundred twenty three dollars in cash. And so what they're saying is this app, you're actually going to allow you're going to be allowed to take your air miles buy and turn them into cash. You're going to be allowed to turn your, I don't know, Walmart points or whatever the fuck. I don't know what points are, but, well, I do know what points are, but, you know, store points and all this kind of bullshit into cash. And that's what they are doing. All right. So you get it? All right. All in one app. And you see how they show you the dollar values. Yeah. Right? So your air miles. All right. You don't want to use them to fly? <laughs> Come get some straight cash, homie. <laughs> right? All right, so let's move on. Um, so in just a few taps, you can use those assets to shop at your favorite merchants, send them to family and friends, or convert them to cash. Straight cash, homie. We believe that you hold more value than you realize. Right? Think of all the rewards points on your credit cards. And, and like I said, your rewards points on your, your, your air miles. What is that Air Miles thing? I should do that, actually. Because I fly a little bit. But, right, all that, and now, but you can convert it. Bye! Straight cash, homie. Look, so we believe that we that you hold more value than you realize. And we're here to help you track, spend, and send your digital assets however you want. That's pretty nice, right? That's pretty nice. Right, the way they have it, the way it is in the world right now, you have to spend those points and those different things at whatever retailer you got them from, right? With this app right here, fuck all that. You can either turn it into straight cash, buy crypto with it, ah, or buy crypto with it. All right, so back chief executive officer Mike Blendini, hold on, Blendina said back now powers loyalty redemption programs for seven of the top financial institutions and over 4,500 loyalty and incentive programming programs, including two of the largest U.S. airlines. Yeah, yeah. The company adds that it is well positioned to leverage the technology and infrastructure, along with the right partners to deliver innovative new products that expand access to the global economy. The backed app is scheduled to launch Bye. This summer. So, yeah, you can get that back tap. So, um, yeah, that's pretty neat. It's pretty amazing. I mean, it's not full crypto story, but, I mean, if you wanted to take all your little, I don't know what you got, you know, if you got some little Amazon cards, gift cards, or whatever, all these little programs, you know, like I, your, your, your miles rewards for your credit card and all that. You'll be able to put it on this app and just turn it into straight cash, into money, and buy yourself some crypto, obviously, <laughs> or whatever you want. You know what I mean? So that's kind of neat. And uh, bye. All right. Look, look. All oh, these fucking Russians here. All right. Let's talk about these Russians. So the Russian bank seeks to ban crypto issuance and circulation. Now, let's be specific about what we mean by crypto. Look, look. I told you how I look at crypto. It, well, this crypto space, this asset class. Now, I know most governments break it down into three. I just break it down into two. There are those things that want to be money. Bitcoin, Litecoin, Zcash, Bitcoin Cash, Monero, Dash, and all those stable coins, right? They all want to be money, right? They're trying to be money. You know, they hope that one day soccer mom and dad will magically wake up and use them to buy stuff with. Yeah, good luck with that. But then we have, on the other side, and this is the viable side of the industry, distributed ledger technology services providers. Oh, yes. And what do they offer? They offer tokenized blockchains or tangles. And that is the difference. They are betting crypto and its circulation governments don't like that stuff that's trying to be money. India? Yes. Russia? Well, you see right now. Vladimir does not want any other money. We have a fucking ruble, and that's good enough. 
And so that's how that's going. <laughs> and so we're going to read about it. We're going to read about our hair. And so you have to remember that whenever you hear these stories about so-and-so is banning crypto. Yeah, yeah, they're banning the money. That shit that wants to be money. No one is banning your V-chains. No one's banning your Ethereums. Not one country is banning your fucking IOTAs. So I want you to, you know, realize that whenever you read these stories, these lame-ass crypto sites, you know, they don't specify that, right? They don't, they don't get into the technicals, but... Yes, well, that's why you're in the greatest show in the multiverse. I get into the technicals and I look around and make sure what's going on is what's going on. And so anyways, though, but... Um, so that's what it is. Yeah, they don't like the crypto. And you can see that big Russian owl right there about to eat that little coin right there. <laughs> yes. All right, let me get a few sips, then we'll move on. So don't be worried about that. Don't be worried about this. They're not talking about your V-Chain. They're not talking about your Cardano. They're not talking about your Factums, your chain links. All right? They're not talking about your Stellars, your IOTAs. Your singularity nets. Don't worry. Don't worry. That's still all good to go. That's all gravy, baby. Because those are actually doing something. So they can't stop a company. Well, first of all, they can't stop a company from using VeChain. For instance, if they want to use it for the supply chain or whatever like that. And second of all, when it comes to trading it, they'll let their people trade it. Yeah, it's a company doing stuff, right? It's not this fake wannabe money stuff, right? And so, don't worry about this in terms of the overall market. But, if you think you're going to go over to Russia, and buy your coffee with crypto, yeesh, you got another thing coming, homeboy. <laughs> you got another thing coming. You got another thing coming. <laughs> Some good old rock and roll from back in the day. Look. All right. So let's read. After years of uncertainty about its cryptocurrency regulation, Russia is further confusing its proposed crypto laws as the country's central bank uh, made yet another statement on the issue. According to a legal executive at the Bank of Russia, the country's major but still unfinalized cryptocurrency allegedly. So it's not final. This isn't final. But it's getting real close, finally. Remember? Remember? Anyway, whatever, man. Uh, still unfinalized crypto. What I was going to say was, guys, remember last year? Russians were supposed to have their fucking crypto legislation by June. Remember Vladimir said, I want crypto regis legislation by June. That shows you, man. Even, a, even an authoritarian dictator can't get his parliament... <laughs> To move very quickly. All right. Just lazy politicians is, I guess, what I'm trying to get at. All right. All right. Let's move on. According to the legal executive at the Bank of Russia, the country's major but still unfinalized cryptocurrency legislation, a bill on digital financial assets, will ban the issuance and circulation of cryptocurrency. So that money stuff, they're going to ban issuance and, regular and, and circulation of cryptocurrencies the money part well the, the things that want to be money right alexi guznov i don't care great i don't who gives a fuck alexi guznov head of the legal department of russia's central bank revealed the news in an interview with local news agency interfax on march 16th yesterday All right, hold on a second Check my trade real quickly right there. That's why I'm a little late because it's madness in the in the markets right now. Uh, and I couldn't. Anyway, we'll talk about that later. Issuance and circulation of crypto in the country poses an unjustified risk, right? They don't want any of this money stuff, right? It can fuck with their financial system, whatever, whatever. They think, believe me, soccer mom and dad aren't gonna even be fucking with this crap, but aren't even gonna get into this stupid stuff, but. Um, I don't think, but um, so they're a little afraid. And uh, so although the original bill on digital finance assets, so this is the name of the bill. The name of the bill is 
on digital financial assets stipulated that cryptocurrency trading would be allowed in Russia. The amended document will apparently prohibit nearly everything about crypto except hodling, according to Guznov's latest remarks. The official said that the upcoming law will explicitly prohibit the issuance and circulation of cryptocurrency and would introduce penalties for violating these laws. This law. Oops. Guznov argued, in terms of the functioning of the financial system and consumer protection system, legalization of the issuance and facilitation or, and facilitating the circulation of cryptocurrencies is an unjustified risk. They're like, look, why, why risk it? Just ban that shit. As such, the bill explicitly prohibits emission and organization of cryptocurrency circulation, introducing legal liability for violating these rules. If you get caught violating, you're in trouble. Russia's central bank would unlikely be able to regulate Bitcoin transa transactions. Besides uh, claiming that the crypto bill would ban Russian financial institutions from issuing digital assets, Guznov provided little clarity about the upcoming bill. When asked whether the Bank of Russia wants to ban residents from converting crypto into local fiat currency, the Russian ruble, or a foreign currency, Guznov did... Oh, hold on. My internet just went out. All right. Uh, Guznov did not provide a direct answer. Instead, the exec reiterated his stance that the central bank opposes institutions issuing cryptocurrencies, adding that the bank would be unable to impose certain limits on transactions in Bitcoin. So he admits it like, look, if you if you issue a crypto or whatever in this country, like we're going to get you. But, um, you know, you can't really impose on transactions, right? Well, let me read and then I'll, you know, and then we'll talk. Let's go. If a person who owns, for example, bitcoins completes a transaction in a jurisdiction that does not prohibit this, we are unlikely to be able to regulate that. So he's admitting it like, wow, our individual citizens, if they buy a bitcoin and then, you know, go buy something with it, like, we can't stop that. But um, we can stop the issuance and uh, stuff like that in our country. But for individuals... Obviously, they realize the truth. You can't stop little Johnny over there from buying a Bitcoin off of Binance one day and doing something with it. So, get real. All right. Russia's crypto law was first... Should we read this? All right. All right. Just so everybody gets updated. I know you, you guys who've been here, we've read all this crap. But all right. So, for new people, the latest remarks about Russia's upcoming cryptocurrency regulations come after years of uncertainty as well as multiple delays in providing any regulatory clarity. First introduced in January 2018, President Vladimir Putin has ordered the adoption of the bill on legal digital finance asset twice, <laughs> but the legislation is still unfinalized to date. Yeah, last year he wanted this final by June last year. That's politicians, though. They just don't get job done sometimes. Even Vladimir feels it, and he's a daggone dictator. Wow. Dictator. While Russia's Ministry of Finance has been trying to legalize cryptocurrencies in the country, the central bank has apparently been fighting to ban Russians from legally using crypto at all. Oh, at all. No. So that's pretty funny, the Ministry of Finance. So that would be like our Treasury Department here in America saying, yeah, crypto's great. And then our Federal Reserve being like, this thing sucks. <laughs> They're fighting with each other. So look, look, in February 2020, the Bank of Russia issued a whole set of rules for suspicious transactions, categorizing any crypto-related transaction as a potential money laundering risk. Assholes. While prohibiting, while prohibiting local entities from issuing their own digital assets, the central bank has been considering the emission of its own digital currency. In December 2019, the bank's head, Elvira Nabilina, said that the institution was exploring the possibility of issuing a digital ruble. So, bang, there you go. So as you can see, Russia's central bank 
Yeah, they don't like the cryptocurrencies, that stuff that's trying to be money. Um, and they've been having a fight with their, uh, what was it? That was pretty funny. Oh, the Ministry of Finance. And uh, we'll see who wins. But as far as right now, though, yeesh. Uh, crypto issuance and circulation is no go. No go in Putin land. All right, let's move on. Bye. So you can't beat it. Zimbabwe could become the next country to legalize crypto. Yes. It's good stuff right there. Yo, know, crypto's rocking and rolling in Africa, man. I'm noticing that, you know, the Chinese, you know, I've told you guys this from before, from back in 2018. The Chinese, you know, they've been over there in, 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 in flipping Africa for the past seven years. They've got military bases over there. I told you they've been building infrastructure and all this stuff for the Africans. Well, not for them, but with them. And obviously they get something back. They get the gold and the, the diamonds and stuff that the African nations have. So it's not like for free. Xi Jinping ain't just giving it out for free, but um, yeah, uh, you know, China has been bringing them little G4 networks. I told you the story. There's ladies in some countries. Yeah, they live in a village. Yeah, where they tend goats. They have to walk a mile to go get water. Yeah, but you know what she has? Buy a fucking 4G smartphone. Yeah, the Chinese give it to them. Yeah, it's like ten dollars, ten American dollars for it. Yeah. But they're limited. They're limited. They're not like our smartphones where we could do all this shit, download all these apps and all this. They come already pre sort of filled with stuff. I mean, it's only ten dollars, so they're not gonna let you just do whatever, but But yeah. And uh so Zimbabwe can become the next country to legalize crypto. Check it out. All right, there's your bank of Bobway, <coughs> Bobway, Zimbabwe, which is the country's central bank has begun making plans on how to create a regulatory framework that seeks, that seeks to guide and monitor the activities of cryptocurrency-related companies, according to a report on Monday. The intention of the central bank was made known by the Deputy Director of Financial Markets and National Payment Systems for RBZ, Mr. Joseph Mutefa, uh, during a sound prosperity economic forum oh sound prosperity economic forum held in Bulawayo Zimbabwe on Friday Mr. Mutefa said that companies in the cryptocurrency space would have to meet up with the requirements that are to be outlined in the proposed regulatory framework which notably includes the creation of a sandbox oh yeah the sandbox thing so he said we have already started to come up with a fintech framework because in regulation, everything should be well-structured. The framework, which is a regulatory sandbox, will be assessing the cryptocurrency companies as to how they are going to operate. <clears throat> he added, uh, once you enter the sandbox, you either exist as a bona fide product to enter the market or you are guided to say that you need a partner, a bank. A mobile monetary, sorry, money platform, or your product needs to be licensed like a microfinance company. Mr. Mutefa uh, made it clear that the sandbox will serve as an experimental zone, which is what a sandbox is. You kind of hold all that these crypto companies in them and you let them do what they want to do and you see what happens, right? And that a standard will be set for the applicants. And this will work hand in hand with the regulatory sandbox. Uh, he went on to mention that most fintech companies face the challenge of getting capital, acknowledging that unlike the local currency, which is regulated solely by the central bank, digital currencies can operate independently of the central bank. Thus, 
minimizing loans coming to the companies. I, I don't understand what that means, minimizing loans. I think they mean maximizing loans coming to the companies. Because if I can't get a loan from a bank, but I could get one from a DeFi thing, that's maximizing, not minimizing. I don't. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, tell me in the comments. I think they mean maximizing. And I think this website just sort of made a mistake here. So another problem that the government had to take care of was how to publicize the monetary policy in the various official languages to enable the growth of the country's financial sector. However, despite the struggle faced by a majority of industries in the country with regards to understanding exactly how cryptocurrency trading works, few of them are actually doing well in that regard. Uh, one of such companies is Spurt, a local cryptocurrency-based trading consortium. The company's business advisor, Brian Masevi, Maseva, is optimistic that the regulatory framework will go a long way to improve the growth of the cryptocurrency market in the country. Meeting with the central bank will help us grow and attract the public to join the digital currency, which is fast taking over the financial sector. Uh, we are now aware that there is a policy which elaborates more on fintech guidelines than we need to follow. That we need to follow. Uh, Brian Masiva is quoted as saying in the report. All right, so. Moving away from Zimbabwe, cryptocurrencies are becoming increasingly popular around the world. Even central banks that were initially skeptical of them are now becoming are now coming to terms with them. A few weeks ago, the Bank of Canada revealed plans of creating a digital currency, seeking public input on the matter. Also, more recently, India and South Korea made court rulings and new regulations that effectively legalized the cryptocurrency industry. Wow. Look, look, bye, and there we go. So Zimbabwe is coming through. Zimbabwe coming through. They're going to let it get down. All right, let's move on, man. Let's move on. Bye. Let's get to this. Binium. What's what's Binium talking about? Look, look. Larry, brother. See you, brother. Bye. CB News. iOS team makes headline on BTC Manager with the launch of Enterprise Blockchain Services Aircraft Carrier <laughs> Aircraft Carrier Plan. What's that? Actually, I haven't read this, so I don't know, but iOS T, a leading blockchain network for the development of... Mm, let's just take a little peek. Let's just take a little peek, brothers and sisters. We can take a little peek. You don't mind, do you? Just a little peek. What's Binium talking about here? <laughs> Binium. iOS T, leading blockchain network for the development of high-quality, decentralized... Hold on, let me... Mm, let's grow this a little bit. Let's grow that. That's how you do it. Just like you grow your portfolio, you grow that way. <laughs> you grow that website. All right. Fuck it. Let's do four stories today. iOS T leading blockchain network for the development of high utility decentralized applications has officially launched its suite of enterprise gear distributed ledger technology. Shit. All right. Aircraft carrier plan. Enterprise grade blockchain development. Oh, this looks serious. Oh, this is serious. All right. We're not going to do four stories today. What we are going to do is, bye. We're going to talk about that one tomorrow. So look, look, Minam. Thank you, sir. Bye. Yeah. CB News. The U.S. takes regulatory steps for blockchain technology adoption. Oh, they did? Fuck. Oh, you see, I've been yap yapping. He did this 26 minutes ago. All right. Well, I haven't read this, so I don't know what you're talking about, but bye. That's probably going to be another story tomorrow. There's Binium Binium. Oh, Binium's on a rampage. <laughs> look, look, he said. He said, CB News. What up? U.S. Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin appoints Coinbase, oh, legal officer to oversee banking system. Well, he's not quite overseeing the banking system. He's the chief operating officer of that office. So it's about operations. He's not the guy making the, the rules, but. Bang! At least you have a voice, a voice there, you know, talking to the top guys. Yeah. So good. Deep Entertainment. Look, look, DP. Love your brother. See your brother. Soul brother. Yeah. Oh, fuck the fucking box. 
All right, man. What is it? Nine in the morning. All right, I'm going to the fucking. I'm gonna to go to my my post office box right now, right now. When I after I do this, I promise. I promise. Fuck. So, brother, love you, see brother. Bye. I forgot this fucking weekend. Dag on it. Backed. Oh, and this is the three hundred million dollar funding round. Yeah. Yeah. Sloppy. So now we know how why V Chain got its name. The V is as in Vuitton. Yeah, yeah, right. Fucking wild. Uh, yeah, Sonny Lou. He was the X C whatever O of Louis Vuitton. That's interesting. Bye. I always look personally. I look at V Chain as Victory Chain. That's the thing that's gonna make me my money. So <laughs> bye, sloppy. Bricks, spaghetti drops. Look, look. Let everybody see you, brother. Bye. Yes. Look, look. Here comes Minium. Minium saying, look, look. See me news. All right. What's up, Minium? Tezos token will be available for trading on the digital asset marketplace starting on Monday, March 16th. All right. Wow. Good for them. Divide and conquer. What's that about? Bye. All right. All right, you cheap visa from the Pasquiaki tribe. Bang, B Chain Brothers, Soul Brothers. Bang, stand in solidarity. Bang, love you, brother. Poppy Wood, love you, brother. See you, brother. Bang, Kong. Wow, bang, love you, brother. See you, brother. All right, what we got here? All right. Oh, I never see what the Pascua Yaki tribe's all up in this. Yeah, you guys know where you guys know where it's at. Look, look, Native Warrior, love you, brother. See you, brother. Bye, sweetie. Ha <laughs> ha. Love you, girl. See you, girl. Bye. Yes, Ricardo. Tuto. Bye. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, Binium's still talking over here. What's he saying now? Look, look, CB News. All right. What am I looking at? Cardano works on commercial infrastructure and Shelly update. Unaffected by the coronavirus. I know. Oh, that's right. Because people were saying that Cardano was going to be, the upgrade was going to be delayed because of coronavirus. And Charles Hoskinson had to fucking tweet and say, no, it isn't. Yeah. Anyway, Shelly's still coming. Quantum proof. Yeah. Whoops, where'd we go all there? There's the Dicko family. Look, look, Dicko family. Love you, family. See you, family. Bye. I know. I know. I told this guy I was going along. I told him I was going long. Yeesh, I had to go. I had to, I had to change that up today and go short. Maybe I'll show you guys. Bye. Can you guys see this? Man, I had to go short. I took a long, I took longs, but, but yeah, I went in short. Bang! Went in short. Bang! Bang! And I'm trying to get this one to bang, dang it. <laughs> well, I'm not trying, and the markets are. I got in here, and we're down. I mean, I saw I'm making money, but I wanted to, weeps. So that's my little trade for today. All right, we're not going to get into it. I'm not going to explain everything. Actually, why not? Hold on. Let me show you a little something. The trend is your friend, boys. Look, look. Can you guys see this? Yes. So, look, look. Here's an hourly trend. See how it went? Bang. Swung up. 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 Bang. <laughs> That's the trend. That's why the trend is your friend. What's the trend, Shamari? The 30, the 50, and the 100 SMAs. That's how prices rock. <laughs> that's what the professionals, bang, that's what the institutions do. So you have to do what they're doing. You know, so you can make that daggone bread. And I noticed, uh, I never said this to you guys. So these, these blue lines right here, can you guys see this? Let me make sure you can see it. All right. So these blue lines here, whoops. These blue lines here are my Fibonacci's. 
Well, my Fibonacci's have all sorts of lines. Bang, bang, bang. Yeah, yeah. Professionals don't use all that bullshit, dog. We use three Fibonacci lines. So just delete the other lines and use these three. Use the 38.2, the 50.0, and the 61.8. That is what the big dogs use. That's what professionals use. All those other lines right there, they're just a bunch of garbage. All right. Anyway, just so you know, but let's just get back to crypto right now. I'm not getting into a fucking full teaching tonight. Not tonight. Look. Or this morning. <laughs> Actually, it's 9.37 in the morning. Look, look, Daryl Wade. Followed me. All right. What's he about? Click link for free crypto. Oh, whatever. Bang. All right, what else we got? There's the miscreants. Here we go. Let's do this and wrap it up. So we got beautiful brawlies. Umbrella people, love you guys. See you guys. Bye. Brent C, spy lady. Sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> Brent C. Bang. Brenda, I believe her name is. Oh, it is. It's, she says it right here. Good. Sloppy. Gut dang. Love you, brother. See you, brother. Bye. Son of a bitch. Look at this. Bye. Look, look. Bye, look, look, bye. You gotta kill son of a bitches like that quick. With three shots. Three shots. Even give a bang, a fourth one just to make sure. <laughs> yeah, that's because airdropper's a market killer. He's gonna get you. Oh, yeah, he's gonna get your money. You gotta do like that. You gotta do four shots. <laughs> he's coming for your money, baby. He's a killer. Yo, and if there's any other killers out here, man, come talk to me, man. If you guys are market murderers, talk to me. Oh, fuck. Come on, man. Let's. I'll make it just a chat room for just us killers to talk in so we don't have to hear the craziness from, you know. You know what I mean. Bye. All right. No, let's not insult anyone. Look, look, M. Bye. And Andrew Hall, V-Chain investor with a bright future. Pfft. Well, if you're a V-Chain investor, fuckstick, you got the brightest future of all the investors. Bang! Look, look, bang! You can even get two. I'll even give you a two-piece, a two-piece chicken. Like a Kentucky Fried Chicken, get a two-piece chicken bucket. <laughs> all right, let's get the fuck out of here. Look! Wait a minute, wait a minute. And then we go. And then we go. Bong! There we go. There we are. Bye! There we are. All right. So we had a great show for you today. Hope you enjoyed it. All right. So Bact gets a $300 million injection from uh, Microsoft, from Tantera, blah, blah, blah. They got, anyway, they got all this money, and they're going to build that app, and that app is going to let you... It's not only crypto, so... But it was the big, big, big story of the day. Literally every single fucking website had it. So obviously I got to talk about that, right? And so, um, but what's interesting is you can take your, like what I looked at it from was like, all right, so you have air miles. I can take those air miles and turn those into cash. Yeah, and then back to let me buy crypto with that cash. So turning your air miles into Crypto is kind of how I looked at it. Um, and uh, they said um, other other corporate rewards, points and all this, you'll get money. You could turn it into cash. I just look at it as, yeah, well, I'll cash that shit out and turn it into crypto. Buy yourself some crypto. And so, you know, uh, we'll see. We'll see. So, bye. Now, Russia. Oh, yeah. So the central bank is going to ban crypto. Now, remember, that's crypto. That's stuff that wants to be money. Wants to be some fucking wannabe money stuff. All right, they're going to ban that. But don't worry about it. You rechange your iota, your stellas, your factums, all that. Look, look. Good to go. Good to go. Good to go. Um, I personally don't give a fuck when I hear them wanting to ban that wannabe money crap. Um. Because I'm invested in distributed ledger technology services providers. I mean, yes, I have some Bitcoin. Yes, I have some Litecoin. But uh, 
I don't care. I'll fucking sell that shit and just buy some beach and like fuck it. <laughs> so look, look, and then Zimbabwe. Oh, could legalize crypto? Yes. Bye. And yeah, yeah, they're they're getting around to it. It looks like Africa's on the move. Cardano, you know Charles Hoskinson, he's running around Africa talking to all these uh, African leaders, showing them the the future of the future of the blockchain and crypto and all this, right? So. That's good stuff, good stuff. Good stuff. And, uh... All right, then. That's about it, then. Oh, that's... No need to fucking drag this out any longer. Let's chill it and kill it. Let's get you back to your wives and lives. Bye! Subscribe below, press the bell. You get automatic notification when I do this show. The greatest show on earth, the greatest show in the multiverse. Look, look, my name's Shamari Clark. Love talking money, love talking crypto. This is the favorite time of my day. Look, thank you, thank you for having me in your home. You're probably listening to me at work, but wherever you're listening to me at, listen carefully. Always listen carefully. Fuck that spreadsheet. Listen carefully. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. So look, look. Love your brothers. See you, brothers. My name's Shamar Clark. Subscribe here. Bang. Watch that little video here. Bang. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. My name's Shamar Clark. I'm always on duty. Bang. Watch it on money real hard. Bang. Over and out.